We need to go back to when like Windows 98, Windows XP was the operating system because I feel like I could just, that's when I was comparable to actually know a lot of this shit on, you know, <laughs> when people are like, hey, can you fix this? I'm like, yeah, dude, I could take out the RAM, you know, I could, whatever it was, I could do it. Now they're like, hey, this, 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 and this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Can it turn on? Can it get me to the internet? Sweet. <laughs> Didn't you turn it off and on again? I feel 70. You're old <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, I feel you. So put you on the spot, if you don't mind me asking, Matt, and I probably have asked you before. How many people live in your town or mm. in your vicinity? Um, I, let me look. I don't I don't ever look. Because while you're looking, I'll, I'll say this. I lived in a place where there was about, I don't live there anymore, 6,000 people. And uh, we didn't have like DoorDash mm -hmm. at one point, but like it would allow me to order it. And then I had to like call in because it wouldn't pick it up and get refunded because nobody was there was no drivers and then one day some lady went into the facebook group and she was like hey i'm doing doordash but even one it once at tuesdays from four to eight and so i was like holy <laughs> shit we got doordash in this small ass town because i'm yeah, too my lazy town the small town that i live says according <laughs> to whatever the last census was is around four thousand people <clears throat> that was that was a census apparently from 2010 they probably haven't done one since so I can't imagine it's it's a place that it doesn't overly drop. It just kind of stays the same. So even if it was 5,000, but the city, which is a little bit surprising to me next to me, it is called the city. Um, it says 9,000 people. I feel like you have to ha you would have to have more to be a city, wouldn't you? Hmm. I don't know what I mean. Like, well, here, I live in a place where there's 25,000. Mm -hmm. And like, because Nebraska... This is to people who aren't from here. Don't doesn't really matter. Nebraska and Iowa next to each other, right? You mm -hmm. think they're basically the same state? Iowa's got like three million people. Nebraska's got like two million people. Um, so the difference between Nebraska and Iowa is Iowa has a lot of these sit towns, cities that are me medium sized normally elsewhere that have like fifty to seventy five thousand. They have a lot of fifty to seventy five thousand towns. Nebraska has like two. So oh, sure. we have a lot of 5,000 to 20,000 towns, but not a lot of the other ones. And so uh, Nebraska and Iowa are different. <clears throat> so for me, 25,000 in the state of Nebraska, that's a medium-sized city. Yeah, <laughs> It's not yeah. anywhere else. So uh, the town that I live in has 120 people with the nearest census of 2022. And we're uh, all fucking... <laughs> Yeah, and so yeah, we are all related, and that's why we all get the little bit of it. Mine's been corrected. Sometimes I got to put it back into place every once. So my cleft lip was fixed as well. But it's uh, I don't. So the nearest town, I would say, fifteen minutes for me probably has three thousand, and then the the I guess the bigger area has, which is St. Joe, has eighty thousand people. About thirty minutes for me. Yep. See, the closest in my eyes city would be Syracuse, New York. Like they're yep. big. They're about 144,000 according to the internet. To me, that is a city. You know what I mean? They got a huge airport, a lot of people. I'm just, I guess I'd have to look into what, uh, why the place is a city. How, how big is a, yeah, getting into the baseball in the woods here, Oswego. How big is Oswego? Oswego, I wouldn't imagine as big, but they also, do college, like students count as, yeah, as residents? They count, they count in the population. Oswego, 17,000. Okay. I thought it was bigger than that. Yep. <laughs> That's what Which, she said. Ah, giggity. Oswego, ton of bars, though. There's one street. I can't remember the street. It has, it's just like bar, 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 bar. And they used, always used to have the thing where you try to do the pub crawl, see how many of them on that street you can hit. Syracuse is, is Syracuse as uh, dangerous as folks lead on to believe? Um. Certain parts, but I think that's with any city. I yeah. mean, what, what's crazy is w from what I've kind of seen or been told that one of the sketchiest areas is actually near the college, like where the college is. There's the, the big, big hospital and stuff. There's a mm -hmm. lot of really rough parts in there. But, yeah, there's there's some there's some parts you don't want to go down. But overall, and then a lot of people around here, obviously, there I think within the last year or two, there was a couple of shootings at the big, big mall. So now a lot of people around here will not go to the mall, which, hey, rightfully so. You don't want to take a chance with your kids and stuff just to go buy some clothes you can unfortunately buy online now. Or fortunately. Yeah, you guys still have a mall? This place does. Syracuse has a huge mall. Okay. Our, our, uh, I think our mall is about dead. I think we have a JCPenney and maybe a China 
restaurant. That's it. That's all that's left in our mall. Yeah, it's called the... those Chinese you've been. Well, no, it was called a China one or I China. Know. Yeah, no, I just I was trying to remember which because there's there's four that's operated by the same people, but it's they have different names, kind of like our Mexican restaurants. They're all same menu, different names. So I think this one was called China One, or there's Super New China Buffet. And I can't remember which one's the, <laughs> which one it is. Yep. Yeah, Destiny Mall is the one in Syracuse. According to their website, DestinyUSA.com, it's visited by over 26 million people every year. Chinex. That's what it was. It just came to me. Chinex. No, Chinex. Chinex. That's what it is. Not even China, just China X. China X is what it is. Just <laughs> had to look it up. They're still thriving in the mall. They're the only restaurant. Even Taco John's couldn't survive, but China X living I strong. I have to imagine that's a good play on words. Like if you say it with a little bit of an accent, it almost says like Trinex. It could come out as, you know what I mean? Bit of a I'm reach. not going to do the accent. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to be the one that's going to do the accent. Nope. <laughs> do it in your no. head, everybody listening. And it, you could maybe, <laughs> maybe hear Trinex. If you notice why there was a pause, that we were all collectively going, uh huh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. No, Brandon's going, which one of you guys are going to say it? Because it's waiting. not going to be I, me. I, I was waiting. Not me. Not this guy. Not nope. this guy. Um, yeah. I, so I heard this. This is random, but I, it just popped into my head that you guys have seen the movie Van Wilder. And my brain went college, partying, bars, Oswego, Van Wilder. Apparently, that character, Van Wilder, which I didn't know, maybe you guys did, it was actually based off Burt Kreischer in an article that the New York Post 